Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just got a few things to say and then I've got um, a gift bag tutorial to show you. And it's just this gorgeous gift bag. It's quite large and it measures 9 inches by 2.5 inches that way. And it's 7 and 3 quarter inch tall. And I've just used this gorgeous ribbon to close the bag and you just lift it off. And it's absolutely huge and you can fit quite a lot of things in there um, but before I get started I just wanted to say that I'm sure most of you are aware that um, I resigned from Stamping Up a couple of weeks ago so I'm no longer a Stamping Up demonstrator um, I do want to say a big thank you to everyone that shopped with me and that supported me through the two years that I spent with Stamping Up um, it's just that the time's come now for me to move on and try something else so I will still continue to buy Stampin' Up! products. Um, I've got no issue with them. I think they're brilliant. Um, I just want to use all my other craft things. And yeah, that's it really. Um, and also the Crafting with Danny group that I had on Facebook. I'm keeping running for the next two weeks. And anybody that wants to cross over to the new group that Sandra Riley and myself have um, made together then the link to that new group will be in the description on the Crafting with Danny group. It is um, Crafting with Riley and Rose. Um, and the name is mine and Sandra's surname. So that's where the name came from. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <coughs> I am still going to be doing tutorials. I know it's been a while since I've done any. Um, but I've just been thinking about new things to do. And we'll explain all that over on the new group. So I'm using again the Folkland paper, I absolutely love it. My daughter bought me this for my birthday. I have used a fair bit of it and there's some gorgeous papers. So that's one of the papers we're gonna use today for the bag, which is this gorgeous um, butterfly one. And I also got the butterfly gala and the matching punch from Stamping Up as well. I just thought it coordinated really well. I did already go ahead and I made this little tag to, on this one, I'm gonna have this on the front. And that's what the butterflies look like. I think they're really cute. And they look really nice. So, you are going to need two pieces of your designer paper or just your normal paper. And it's going to measure 10 and a half inches that way by 12 inches that way. And you want to. Then you want to take your scoreboard. Haven't written any of these measurements down. I just made them up. Um, and I would forget my scoring tool. Hang on a second. Just get that. There we go. <clears throat> so you want to score on the 12 inch side at two and a half inches and 11 and a half inches. And turn it on to the 10 and a half inch side and score at two and a half inches. Then what you want to do is come back and where you put your two and a half score, we're going to score in that halfway point. <laughs> just totally lost my train of thought. Um, let me just work that out. So you're going to score at one and a quarter and you want to take it down just to that bottom score line. And that's it. You want to repeat exactly the same on the second piece. So <clears throat> two and a half inches on the 12 inch side and 11 and a half inches. Turn it onto the 10 and a half inch side and score again at two and a half inches. And then going back to this first little section, you want to score at one and a quarter inches, just down to that bottom score line. If I turn it over, you might be able to see where, it, there we go. There's the score to that bottom score line. And that's all the scoring <coughs> that we need to do. Just before we carry on, you're going to need three pieces of coordinating card and two of those want to measure one and three quarter inches by seven and seven eighths of an inch and we're just going to put these on the inside of the bag. And then this piece is going to measure two and three eighths of an inch by eight and seven inches and I'm putting that in the bottom just to give it a little bit of stability. So then what you want to do is fold and burnish all of your score lines. Absolutely gorgeous paper this. I really, really want to get some more. 
just think it's beautiful. That's the first one. And then you can just fold over and crease that one down to your bottom score line. So your first piece will end up looking like this. And then repeat that again on the second piece. Really simple and really quick to put together. And then just taking that score line there. Then we're going to do a little bit of cutting. Let's get my scissors. And we'll cut it on this side so you can see what I'm doing. So in the bottom square here, you want to cut up straight and notch. Notch into both sides. Oops. And then taking off this thin rectangular piece. notching in there and then a tiny little bit of a notch at the top not much so that's that one and then just again repeating the same process on the second piece so straight up there and notch in And then notch in again on this other piece. And then removing this thin rectangle on the end and notching in again. And a small notch at the top. And there we go. So that's all the cutting you want to do. Then you can either choose to use glue or double sided tape. I'm going to go with glue. Still love Tombow. And on the thin strip on one of your pieces, you want to run your glue along and attach it to the other side piece. So, just going to go ahead and do that. Make sure you get right down. And right up to that top. And then lining up your first piece right at the top and then again right at the bottom so then you've got a big huge bag and then you can fold it and run your bone folder along and again down that side then we've got this. Then what you're going to do is the same again, run your glue down and that should match up. So run your glue down. Oh, one minute before you do that. You want to pop in these pieces and they are going to just lay along there just to give the bag some stability at the top so running your glue along and they should just line up there we go nicely inside there and then the second one run your glue along again moving over and placing that one just the same as we did before. If you want to put handles on the bag, you can put your handles underneath and then you put this card over the top. So now that's quite strong. Then what you're going to do is, now you run your glue along the side. Sometimes it can just be hard to see where the line is without getting your head in the camera. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is just to make sure it lines perfectly, I'm just going to hold that piece there for a moment. And then bring in the bottom. Then you can press it down. Like so. And if 
go. So then that's your bag. Then you want to decide where you want the front and the back. Pop in the two flaps and then close it like that. So what I'm going to do is put a small bit of glue on the flaps. Actually I'm going to put that in first. Then pop the glue on the flaps and then that way you're not going to see the flaps on the inside of the bag. So then we're going to close in them flaps and then pop some glue on the outside. And then close it all up. Like so. And then you can turn it over and pop your hand in. And you could leave it like that if you were just putting some small items in there and you cannot see them flaps. Then what you're going to do <coughs> is taking your last piece of card. I am just using the Stampin' Up! basic black card because I've got it in my stash. I'm just going to stand up now, I think, and just place that into the bottom of the bag. Like that. There we go. And then just giving that a press. And then your bag will close like that. And we're just going to wrap the ribbon around. And I'm just using this everyday ribbon from the range. And it can be a bit fiddly, so just give your bag a press. I'm just going to chop some off. And then all I'm doing is just making a knot. I'm not doing a fancy bow. You could do if you wanted to. I don't want to. So I'm just making a small knot like so and then we can cut off the ends oh, my scissors are blunting a bit there we go and there we go oh, cut that a bit more cut that one as well just a second Sorry about that. Um, so now, with the little tag, I'm just going to put that in the corner, I think. With this one, I tied the knot and then I took the ribbon right around the back and just stuck it with some glue dots. With this one, I'm doing the little tabs because I've done that with the tag. So then, you could leave the tag and you could hang it off with some twine and make it um, a usable tag I just want it to be as a sentiment really and that really is the bag finished so that's it so I hope you enjoyed that I hope everyone will still continue to support and follow my channel um, I do appreciate all of my new subscribers even though I haven't been around um, and there'll be lots more videos to come so see you again next time bye